Hi guys, welcome back to the Board of Studies MCQs. We are committed to be doing every possible question in SCPM, every question that's possible. Our first step was to be doing every question from the modules which we have already put on our YouTube channel. And the second step is to be doing every possible question from the Board of Studies portal. In case you will have any doubt regarding this subject, you feel free to communicate to us on our telegram ID at the rate AJ next. Second, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, then there is a link in the description. You all can enroll directly. The moment you enroll, lectures will automatically start. There is absolutely no need for you all to be calling us for any reason. Okay. Let's start it off. The chapter that we all are doing is chapter number two. That is modern business environment. Which one, which of the following best describes total quality management? Okay. Bring me the four options, please. So the first one, identify the cost drivers for companies' major activities. Second one, applying zero defect uh, philosophy aimed at embedding awareness of quality in all the organization processes. Third one, tracking the cost and revenues attributable to each product over its life cycle. The fourth one, measuring how the cost of a product needs to be by reducing the desired profit margin from the expected selling price. Now see, you have to be saying that which one describes total quality management. If I'll talk of one by one, first, identifying the cost drivers and company's major activities. I guess here we are not talking of total quality. You are identifying cost drivers here and the activity. This is your activity based costing. Okay, that you all have done before, I guess. So that is one thing. It is a way whereby all the activities as such, okay, will have or get incurred because of a certain factor that certain factor is going to be called as cost driver so therefore this is not your answer okay second one second one i'll come back to later third one, tracking cost and the revenues attributable to each product over the entire life cycle now life cycle means that the product gets introduced okay uh first thing that is the introduction stage whereby the product is bit known to few people but not much and then there is growth stage in growth stage, the product starts to catch on. There is maturity stage whereby the product is at its peak. But then towards the end of this, it starts to be going down. And lastly, there is a declining stage or finally, like, you know, the time whereby we stop to produce. From the time we introduce a product till the time we stop it, this entire duration is called as product life cycle. Basically, life cycle costing helps you to identify the sales and the cost over the entire life cycle divided up into these four stages. So therefore, third point, I think so is talking of life cycle costing. Okay. Fourth one, measuring of how, uh, measuring how the, how low the cost of a product needs to be by reducing the desired profit. I guess here they are uh, reducing the desired profit margin from the expected uh, selling price. I guess here they are not talking of total quality management. I think here they are trying to be talking of something called as target costing. Now target costing is what we had a certain selling price, but then market is expecting some other price that will be called as target price. From there, you reduce the profit that you want and then you try to be arriving at target cost. Currently, our cost is high. Actual cost is high. We want to be uh, bringing it down. We want to be bringing it down to target cost. Okay. That thing is going to be called as target costing. So like, you know, point number four is all about your target costing. So answer has to be two. And in real sense, I guess point number two only tries to be speaking this. Applying zero defect policy aim at embedding awareness of quality in all the organizational processes. Your TKM is what? Total quality management. It aims at having zero defects and quality in everything. It could be your product, your processes, each and everything. It aims at there should be zero defectives. And that is whatever is the philosophy of total quality management. Do remember quality is not one time. It is a process that has to be done every day, everything. Your staff should be trained that they have to be producing the quality product up and so on. Okay, so therefore answer should be two. <coughs> This is the explanation of the institute and I think answer should be two over here. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Uh, this QR code will take you to the playlist of all the MCQs of CA final of this subject. So in case you all have not watched, I would always request that you watch uh, these questions first and then come back to board of studies question. It will make your understanding far better. I'll see you all next time in another lecture. Till then, take care. Bye.